This presentation will address how to optimize your data-driven decision-making process. What you will learn is one, how to develop a data model with business alignment in mind. Two, how to measure data model effectiveness in a data-driven world. And three, how to extend a data model to support actual decision-making activities. We will take a look at the Infomix model on information value. And we'll, there are two measures, one being foundational, the other being financial. We will focus on the foundational measures. And we will look at intrinsic value, business value, and performance value of information. In order to do so, we will need to understand our business strategy and how it relates to data. We will capture business strategy in the form of planning statements. In fact, we may have more than just one type of planning statement. Here's an example of a goal, an objective, tactic, or task. Each of these represent a type of planning statement. The best way to organize our planning statements is in this project strategy alignment worksheet. And we'll take a look at a retail business use case for that purpose. So if we wanted to look at what potentially our project goals and objectives are, we would see that we have a goal of consumer analysis. That is to identify the consumer demand for our products and services. We also see that we have an objective to find the market segment. We also can see that in order to obtain or meet the objective and the goal, we need some strategies. One strategy is to align the product promotions to the consumer behavior. Another strategy could be to align consumer desirability to our products related, related services. Yet another strategy would be to match the value added services that we're offering to our consumer product offerings. Now, in order to understand whether or not our strategy is meeting our goals and objectives, we need to relate each strategy to something that we're going to call a key performance indicator. And that key performance indicator, in turn, will give us an idea of what data is required for us to measure how effective our strategies are. So here's one example to increase the consumer net promotional score from seven to nine. Another example is to increase our promotion campaign effectiveness from 56 to 82%. And another one would be to overall uh, increase our consumer satisfaction rate to at least 90%. So there's the backdrop captured in a worksheet that shows setting up our project goals and objectives, and our, in turn, project strategy statements to meet those goals and objectives. And finally, our key performance indicators allowing us to gain insight into how effective our strategy is. Now let's see how we map what I just laid out for us into our software automation tool called Visible Advantage. Here you can see that in Visible Advantage, you can easily set up your planning statements and you can do so in a hierarchical manner. Typically what will happen is the highest level statement like a mission or a goal will be at the top of the hierarchy and any objectives or objectives that relate to the goal will be uh, subordinate to the goal and any strategy or strategies that, re that relate to that objective or those objectives will be yet subordinate to that objective. And in that hierarchy, inherently are the relationships drawn from one planning statement to another. Once we've done that, then we are able to associate any one or more of our planning statements to any one or more objects. The objects that we speak to in this case could be objects such as an entity, could be an object such as a class, 
could be an object such as an activity in a business process. If these objects come from a data model, then the data model could be automatically produced from a schema definition that we may already have and we can import that schema definition, say, for example, from Salesforce or from any other application that supports schemas like Workday or any database for that matter that, that supports schema definitions like, for example, SQL Server or Oracle, we can map all those into visible advantage. Once we've done so, then it's simply a matter of associating our planning statements with the underlying objects and data models that we've imported in addition to any that we so desire to create. Now, in our particular use case, we need to show a promotion entity and its relationship to both the product and the service and the time frame of the promotion, because what's important to us is to know when a promotion was actually used during the time when a product was purchased. In order for us to uh, actually step through a business process, therefore, we need on our business process the activity that deals with the purchase of the product as well as the promotion used during that time of purchase. Now let's look at mapping the model metadata to the actual instance data. Again, we're looking at a retail business or retail store business use case. And what we see here is the mapping of all of our metadata to a self-service user interface that allows one to then query at any level whatsoever, meaning that we can query data for a specific planning statement, like an objective or a goal, we can query the data stored around our strategy, and we can also query any of the data relevant to what we associated a planning statement to, that being the objects. And on the right-hand side, you can see what we're linked to in terms of those objects. So it could be an entity, or it could be a class, or it could be an activity from a business process, and that shows up on the right. When we run our query, we will get back an insight. Now the insight that we get back is given to us <clears> through the automatic creation of a view. The views are automatically created by the software tool because we've established all the back end connections throughout the planning statements and the different objects from the data model and the business process model. So here we can see exactly which promotion was viewed the most, was liked the most, and even was shared by our, by our customer during the time when the product was purchased. It's usually the case when we look at a strategy and we look at the data, the insight about that strategy, that then we determine if in fact we need to make a change. Having the software tool it's very easy to do so. It's an iterative process. So we can go back into the tool and make any adjustments we need to make to the strategy or to what we're associating the strategy to, meaning that maybe we need to bring in uh, an auxiliary data model from another data source, or maybe we need to make an adjustment in so much as what data we're looking at. So in either case, we make the adjustment in the tool, it saves our change and automatically will map to the instance data so we can re-query that data again. I'm happy to say that it's easy to get started. It's free. There's no credit card required. And the other thing I want to say is that we have these models and instant data set up across different industries. So here you can see we looked at the retail business case, use case, but there's the same setup for utilities, healthcare, travel and leisure, pharmaceuticals, e-commerce, supply chain, manufacturing, financial services. So depending upon what industry you're in, you'll be able to get started very easily with uh, preloaded uh, data and process models and use cases, as well as uh, example instance data on the back end that you could quickly query. The, the beauty of it all is that 
you can get familiar with what's there now and easily customize it to your particular uh, data and your particular industry. A reference, uh, if you want to email me, you can feel free to email at contact at visiblesystemscorp.com or I have a link here where you can uh, simply try it as, as I mentioned. Thank you and good luck.